Hey guys, you joined me now during the lunch hour, and um, I'm having a little pause from last night, uh, in case you missed it. I didn't mention this, but I made this awesome uh, custom pasta sauce with, um, it's like habanero, I think, um, hot sauce, and um, okra, so it's really nice. It's a unique uh, italian -y kind of Cajun, or uh, Creole, I mean, inspired recipe. It was really nice. And, um, another um, iteration or stage upon my um, mastery of tweaking the uh, recipe of the master um, spaghetti sauce that I'm trying to make. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, I'm making, uh, or not making, I'm doing, um, what am I doing? I'm just talking now. Um, what other apps should I talk about? I'll talk about. Um, I mean, anything. What, what's interesting apps? Oh, I'll talk about Fallout, the game. Actually, not talk about apps. I'll talk about. I'll talk about apps later. But let me talk about like most interesting games I've ever played in my entire life. And it's Fallout Three. So Fallout Three is a cool game where um, you just essentially um, wander around the wastelands and um, shoot at pretty much anything that moves with whatever guns you have. You could also like take like a time out and aim at body parts. Just you know, to make sure you can use your points, or so you don't so you don't die. In, in my case, it's just it's like a freeze frame, so you can do that and then shoot whatever you want, so you don't just get like mauled by them. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Anyway, the coolest thing about the game, in my opinion, is that you're like always facing the moral choices. So like in the game, uh, I'm just gonna keep rambling, and you can, you can just drop this whatever you want. So, but this is actually a cool game, and I actually did enjoy playing this. So this is like my my geek out geek hour or whatever. Um, but it's, it's actually cool you can like make moral choices, which is actually kind of important if you were to survive in a wasteland. You know, let's just say. And I was actually voted most likely to survive a zombie apocalypse from my thong committee, so there's that. And you know, think about this: if you're if you're stuck in like a wasteland for, after a zombie apocalypse or after um, I don't know some some something, would you want to like know what to do? Would you want to be like a man and I like a little pussy who's like, oh shit, what do I do? And just shit my pants and run around in circles and not know what to do? Because you should probably know, you know, how to handle yourself, how to handle a gun, and how to handle well, if you can handle like a fucking katana, <laughs> I think that'd be cool. But how there's a katana in Fallout, so because uh, uh, but there's there's a Lincoln's repeater. So you can handle, well, I'll say this is a sledgehammer. I don't know why you want a sledgehammer, because it's, it's, it's too heavy, and it's like, it doesn't do that many, like, damage points, bro. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. But what you could use is, it's nothing weird, like, it's, kind of, it's just a sword. <laughs> That's, like, the best melee thing you can probably pick up. And, um, that, and, um, I always use the Lincoln's Repeater, because it's, like, it's super, it's super nice, and just, like, a one-shot. So if you can just, like, rack up the headshots, it's just, like, an awesome way to, to shoot, shoot the, just, like, eliminate from game, <laughs> or whatever. If you want to call it. Anyway, <laughs> my experience playing Fallout was was um, I I enjoyed the game. So like in the game, you uh, the quest is to find your dad because you wake up in a shelter and you don't know where your dad is because you're like I, I think I forget the plot of the game, but like somehow you're you're born you're so the, the idea is you're born in a vault because it's like after a nuclear holocaust or something like that, and um you wake up and um everyone's like in this like closed community where like everything's like safe and secure. But then uh, one day you wake up and your dad's missing. So you go out, so the, the, main, the main character or whatever wakes in this game. She's just like, oh, I'm going to go outside and try to find my dad. So you leave the vault, you go try to find your dad. But there's a stipulation. It's like, once you leave the vault, or actually I'm making this up. I think it's like, once you leave the vault, you can never return. Or because you're like contaminated or something. Or, or maybe you're just like, you're not supposed to know what's at the vault or something like that. I, I think it's just like, they, just, they try to keep you in the vault. And like, once you like make the choice to leave the vault, it's like, Shit, this guy like broke protocol. He's leaving the vaults. So They're probably like proud of you. Like that was a guy who broke the rules. So, like we don't like him anymore. You know that kind of thing. So I don't know. But anyway, um, I was gonna say, um, hmm. uh, one of the coolest things in the game is that, um, well, let me just say this: the, the main plot of the game it starts you start to have slow, so you have to get to like this other thing across the map, and then like you just do like storyline quest things or like mini quests along like the, the story arc the main story arc until you like eventually complete the main quest but along the way there's cool side quests so you can do like little stuff like um there's a city you can like show up in you can like help a girl complete like it's wasteland survival guy which is really cool and there's one guy who's like hey do you want to blow up the city <laughs> and you can always it's like that open of a game you're like yeah man i'll blow up the city but like in my world i didn't blow up the city so <laughs> i was like no man this is where i trade this is like where i get my stuff man i'm not gonna blow up the city because, like, what the fuck am I doing with the wasteland if, like, I can't, like, shop anywhere? <laughs> that, that sucks. Like, seriously. It's like, that's like that, just like shooting you in the foot, like, the biggest metaphor. It's like being stuck in the wasteland. It's like, oh, people on Earth, finally. I'm, I'm in civilization, finally. There's, like, food, they have water, but I'm a fuck up and I'm just gonna blow it up. <laughs> like, what a dumbass, right? Who the fuck would, who the fuck would do that in the wasteland, right? <laughs> what a fucking loser. <laughs> anyway, or, or whatever, I don't know. 
Anyway, one of the other things you can do, or here, I'll say, I'll say this. Well, I'll just, I'll just spoil it. I'll, I'll, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll talk for a bit, and then I'll get to it. But um, other things you can do in the game include like trading slaves, which is kind of fucked up because like why the fuck, why the fuck do you want to deal with slavery in the in the wasteland? It's kind of like you know, it's kind of weird. Um, I'm not, all, I'm not about slaves. So like, there's one mission that just always makes you feel bad to even get involved with it, and it's like, hey, take these people and make them slaves, and it's like, I'm always just like, in, in like whenever I played the game, I was always like, nope, just I'll just go away from that because I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> so no thanks, because I'm all that freedom. But I went, there's one time I did play the game, like I had to do all the quests, because like, you know, you can't just play the game and not do all the quests. <laughs> so I did that quest and I was like, okay, I did it, I checked out my list, cool. But anyway, <laughs> um, there's another quest um, where it's like, there's this tower, it's called Tenpenny Tower. And see, now I'm getting into the game. So if, if you've played the game, you know what I'm talking about now. <laughs> but um, there's this like, oh yeah, I, uh, I, I did the, I don't know what's going on now, I'm spacing out, but there's this thing called Tenpenny Tower, where, um, oh, sorry, I should have said something. You, you like, play the game and you, Space the quest. The fuck? The fuck am I thinking? You just play the game. You you make decisions in the in the in the game, and it affects. Oh yeah, I did mention this. Your overall karma in the game, and you can either have good karma or bad karma. I think it's called bad karma. I think it's called evil karma. I forget. But um, who cares? Um, anyway, um, in the game, you can like go on either side of the gradient scale, and it affects like how people treat you in the wastelands. Like if you accrue bad karma, then people I think treat you differently. In different factions, like respond to you differently or something like that. I don't know. I forget. But anyway, it does affect you in the game. And I know one of the like, the worst things you never do in the game is become a cannibal. So that just like every time you like it's like a perk you can get in the game if you want it, but like it's like the worst act to even ever do, like ever. So like it always lowers your karma if you even do it, and it's just like you know one of those things. It's like it says in the perk. It's like is this a karma you see anybody? You can take it if you want. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Anyway, there's this one game called Tenpenny Tower where like a bunch of like really rich. Or like you know, comparatively rich because they're in like in the wasteland. So like, what is money even like worth in the wasteland, right? <laughs> Especially if you blew up the fucking town, right? <laughs> but anyway, just saying. Um, not that I did, but anyway, <laughs> um, they like have this conundrum where they're like, these, these people on Earth are like really radiated and call them ghouls, and like we don't want them in our tower. So like, no. <laughs> but like, one of the things in the game you can do is like just go to the the thing and be like, just tell the guy to go go, go fuck himself and fuck off, <laughs> and leave the guys in the tower alone, because he always just, like, bothers He's like, I can't live here, and like, no, you're fucking, you're like a ghoul, dude, you can't live here, <laughs> this is like a place for humans, dude, what the, the fuck, what the fuck, just go, go live somewhere else, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> um, and then the other choice in the game, uh, there's two other choices that are both kind of, or the other choice in the game is kind of fucked up, it's to kill everyone in the tower, it's like, why the fuck did you do that, and the ghoul is just like, oh, see, now I'm king of the castle, like, what a fucking rat, anyway, I, that, that's the bullshit. No, a choice in my opinion. Anyway, I don't know. But um, the other, so there's other quests in the game. There's a, there's a whole other, there's a whole more side, like more depth to this plot, which is like there's this faction called the Enclave, which are like the government. Um, I think they're from like DC, or like where DC used to be before it all got hit by the wasteland. But then again, this entire thing I think is in, is in they call it Capital City, but it's in like the Capital City wasteland, which is DC. So like you can, it's you can like see um, remnants of um, stuff like the National or the Washington Monument. I think it's called. Yeah, it is called. I just don't know why. I don't know why I thought I'd explain it, or why I doubted myself for a sec. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's where, like, this one guy, Three Dog, hosts this radio station. <laughs> He's, like, always on the radio. It's, like, the only radio in town, so you want to listen to the radio. It's kind of cool. It's, 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 like, entertaining, so it's, like, a nice feature of the game. But anyway, I don't know. Also, there's, like, as I said, the Enclave, who, like, the government, and they just try to, like... I don't, I don't, know they, I don't even know what they do. They just, like, <laughs> they just like run around and just, like, are just, like, a faction in the game. So, who knows? But anyway, um, if you go to the far north of the map, though, this is really cool. Um, people's called the Tree People, I'll call them. <laughs> Sorry, I still need to keep eating this before it gets cold and or warm. Even though it's already cold. Oh shit, I just dropped spaghetti. Um, I just feel the need to eat it before the, I guess the sauce gets warm enough to like where it could be like perishable. I don't know. Okay, I didn't get my pants. Anyway, um the main quest in that region, um, in the, in the far north in the in the tree people's cult land or whatever, is this really old tree in Harold. And once you encounter this individual and or tree person and or tree ounce or whatever you want to call it, I don't know, I, don't know, I forget what they call it, um, Harold, um, Harold tells you that Harold is not happy being a tree. <laughs> Harold used to be a person, but then somehow he got turned into a tree by being morphed by radiation into a tree. So Harold tells you this and he's like, look, these people are really creepy. They wash me like a god and I don't like it. It's really culty. So here's what you can do. You can just go down, go down, go down yonder and just go find my heart. It's like right in the branches. It's, it's so easy to find. It's just, it's just, it's just right there. You know, you can't miss it. And just, just stab it. <laughs> so that's that's like what you do in the quest. And anyway, um, 
Your options are kind of dark in my opinion, so I don't even go there. But anyway, I got her free will in my world, so that's the option I always picked was like, hey, if everyone wants it, it's what's best for him. So I agree that every living being earns to gets gets the right to choose how they die um, in regards to, you know, a system where that's possible. So uh, anyway, uh, some other things to note is if you check out Rivet City, uh, one of the guides is secretly an android. So you can take his, you can take his gun. Um, you can turn him into the police, or you can do what I do. You can, you can, you can like turn him into the police, but then also get the gun, and then it's like, it's like, hey, I got the gun and the perk, yo, I'm a winner. <laughs> anyway, this is a cool way to get all the stuff in the game. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, I'm not gonna ruin the entire thing, but this is an interesting quest where you go under the under under the the vault thing, and you have a really trippy experience. So it's cool. Um, Tis quite tranquil, but he'll throw you for a loop. Um, anyway, um, if you if you end up going to the main end of the game, you have to make your own decision, and it's the the um, purity versus acceptance um, uh, moral dilemma. So you have to figure out for yourself. I can't tell you what to do. Just to each their own. So if you're playing Fallout for the first time, I don't know. I chose purity as my as my faction sect, but who knows? <laughs> anyway, um, hope you enjoyed watching my video. Uh, 